Hello. 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 It's been a while. I um had someone leave a comment recently and said that it had been ten years since I started my ASMR channel and when I read it I thought that they were just uh, you know, rounding up but when I had a look I found that my 10 year channel anniversary had passed actually it was a few months ago I missed it <laughs> That's okay. And it just got me thinking about all the things that have happened and all the things that have changed in the last 10 years. I made myself a, um, a list in my phone of all the things that I wanted to talk about. And then, sort of at the last minute, I decided that I uh, wanted to record this uh, lo-fi just using my phone. So, I don't have the list. <laughs> so this might be a little all over the place. I've been... Uh, I've been thinking for quite a while about coming back and all the ideas that I had for making different videos but um, one of the things that happened over the last few years was that we moved into a apartment and because of that there's not really any kind of private space for me to use to record which means that uh, I just feel a bit self-conscious sitting out here, able to be heard, just talking to myself. Especially when I'm thinking about the uh, making roleplay videos. <laughs> you know, you don't you don't really think about it when you watch the videos, but um. And there's like a certain awkwardness that you have to be able to get over, I think, to be able to record those. And I kind of makes me respect the people that make those types of videos even more. The fact that they're able to sort of move past that to make something. I think that's impressive. I think that uh, it's a lot more difficult than people might think. So when I made this channel 10 years ago, I was, and had been for a long time, just in awful, awful insomnia. And uh, back when I started watching these videos, I, they didn't even, like ASMR was not a term yet. And they were just like whisper videos and uh, like massage videos. Just uh, content that I could watch while I was awake at night that would not be too overstimulating. And watched that sort of stuff for a few years, as well as uh, things like uh, guided meditation, and I really just thought that I um, wanted to make my own as a form of giving back, because uh, sleep is so valuable, and when you don't have it, 
suddenly becomes the most valuable thing in your life. And uh, I was just so grateful that it was slightly improving my sleep. So I wanted to uh, be able to hopefully give that back to even just one other person. I felt like it would have been worth doing. And I experimented around a while with different videos. And then uh, eventually I uh, said, like, I think I wanted to just make the kind of videos that I enjoyed watching. And it was a lot of fun. I really, uh, I mean, I don't think that there's a lot of value in looking back and wishing you'd done things differently, but it would have been nice to uh, make even more videos than I did. So, not long after I started making videos, I decided to go back to university and study education. And one thing that they kept drilling into us while we were doing that degree was that um, if you are going to be a teacher that you should wipe your online presence that um, you know your personal social media accounts shouldn't be like very easily discoverable and that it caused a lot of problems for other teachers in the past and that they just recommended that the best thing for everybody was just that you are uh, don't really have an online public presence and they said that if you have any kind of online presence that might cause issues that the earlier that you try and get rid of it like the less findable it would be when we finish the degree and uh around the same time there was a lot of talk about ASMR happening because, um, you know, like, I don't really think that there's anything wrong with the, um, over-sexualized ASMR. Like, if people weren't watching it, it, like, nobody would be making it. So I feel like, you know, it serves a purpose. But the fact that it shares a name with you know, me just sitting, talking to my phone at the moment. I, um, had a feeling that this was gonna potentially be an issue as a teacher if, like, a parent that was upset found out that I had an ASMR channel and the only thing that they knew about ASMR was, like, from the news about, like, people getting banned for streaming naked or whatever. I just didn't want it to cause me problems in the future or really to cause anybody else that I was working with or the kids problems. So they said to delete everything, but I couldn't do it. I really didn't want to just wipe the uh, videos that I'd made off the face of the earth completely. So I kept the channel up and I just didn't make videos anymore during that time, which was a shame. I uh, continued like that until about 2017. And by 2017, I wasn't even working in the industry anymore. So, you know, I really could have continued to have... Uh, work towards the channel and it, this is sort of like my passion side project so it's a shame looking back that I could have continued the whole time but um you know we just make the best decisions that we can in the moment based on what we know um so uh, while I was working while I was studying education, the um, teacher shortage meant that uh, during my last year of study, I could work 
as if I had finished my degree. And uh, we wanted, we really wanted to get out of renting and try and buy a place. So I thought, well, I can continue to study full time with distance education and um, try and work full time at the same time, which <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. I thought it would only be for a year and that I could just suck it up and push through it. But, um, you know, your work guilts you into needing more of your time and then you push your studies back. And in the end, that last year spread to nearly nearly three years I spent in my last year just because my work commitments ended up being so just completely taking up my time and my energy so I really did like it though I was working in a childcare center and before I started working in the childcare center uh at, you know at which point I was qualified enough to go in there and and do so but I you know only held a baby maybe like three or four times in my life just briefly enough to hand it back to its parent and uh I'd never changed a nappy I had no uh hands-on experience with young kids so that was a little bit of a trial by fire for me and it was uh difficult but fun it's one of those jobs where the work sucks and the management sucks but you, you do it for the kids and you go in and the kids just make you laugh every day and even though the rest of it is really rough overall you would say that you like your job and one thing that I found that I was almost instantly really good at was um, putting babies down to sleep for a nap and I really thought that that was largely because I'd spent time on this channel and always been self-conscious when I'd made these videos in the past about that my voice was too fast or too loud or too many mouth sounds or sharp noises that would just uh break somebody out of almost being asleep and so I was able to sort of be better from the beginning at kind of relaxing the kids and putting them down to sleep and I am so thankful so thankful I think if anybody who's had to put a child down for a nap before would understand just how thankful you are <laughs> when it happens so it was uh, nice in a way that um, I suppose that this channel had kind of worked out to be a transferable skill um, and then I was going to quit the job because it was taking too much of my time and I was never going to graduate and from the beginning I didn't plan to stay in childcare indefinitely I was aiming to go into primary school teaching and I did do that for a little I had a brief stint as a teacher and then in 2017-ish my health just tanked, absolutely tanked, and I just could not understand why suddenly I'd gone from being able to work and study full-time simultaneously to just struggling to get out of bed. Like, couldn't, uh, if I was left to myself, I'm not sure how I would have fed myself, got myself dressed, paid the bills was quite bad 
And so I um, was sort of forced in a way to stop working then. And I realized that because I had left my degree too long, that I was at the point where I needed to do my internship to finish study. And that with my health, how it was, there was no chance that I was going to be able to do that. So I uh, had to give up education. So close to the finish line and needed to switch. That was uh, kind of devastating for me. So I uh, didn't want to leave with nothing though. For the uh, amount of effort that I would put in to my study. So I switched to a writing and publishing degree. And I'm going to finish that in November. So there's just a few weeks left to go now. And it feels so good after all of this to finally be at the end. I um, figured that it was a more of a um, unwell body friendly job prospect. Where uh, with education you're sort of locked into the same few roles. And so since I didn't need to worry anymore about having anybody find that I had an ASMR channel, I didn't need to worry about what anybody thought or if it was going to affect a career or anything, I was able to do that again. And that's when I made that tea tasting video. I think I made that in 2020. And man, was that an unfortunate time to try and get back into doing this. Um, it, I recorded that on the floor in my lounge room during the Australian bushfires. And uh, I don't think many people think of Australia and think worst air quality in the world, but we had it at the time. And... I just couldn't breathe. I found I was finding it um, to talk in a quiet voice uh, with the smoke in the hair. It was uh, really painful for a few days after that. I had um, a really sore throat. I gave it a bit of a rest and I thought, oh, well, I'll wait for things to clear up. And uh, then we had COVID. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, when that happened, my husband, and by the way, in the time between when I stopped making videos before and now I got married, um, he was working from home and you know, we were living in an apartment and there was just not the privacy that I needed to make the videos. And it's not, it's not privacy for like embarrassment or anything, but privacy in the terms of like, uh, just background noise. I didn't want to stop him from living in his own apartment and have to think that he has to be really quiet or like be afraid to do anything because it might make noise while I'm trying to do something. I didn't want that, so it uh, wasn't working out very well. <laughs> the timing that I chose for my previous return was uh, not great. Um, and then I did record one more video that I haven't released, which is about sewing, which I recorded while he was on a trip to his brother's wedding. I stayed behind to look after our cat who was sick. And um, I've just been stuck on editing that video for, uh, I think, a year, over a year. And now I've had that video recorded and not edited. It's just one of those things where um, it's like not quite coming out the way that I wanted it to. I had um, just these big ideas for it and um, it just wasn't working out. So I am still slowly working on editing that and maybe it will come out eventually. Um, 
but yeah, I, the frustration of trying to constantly get that video perfect I found was holding me back from recording anything else or trying to make anything else. And I thought, you know, you can sit paralyzed forever or you can just bite the bullet and do it. So I decided to sit down tonight and just film something really lo-fi and simple, just using my phone and no other extra cameras or microphones or anything and just get back to uh, just making things again. I did keep watching ASMR the whole time that I was gone. So if you can hear noise in the background. <laughs> One of the problems of an apartment is that I can't get away from things like the fridge which is making those noises and uh, there's also a storm outside tonight so there might be a fair bit of background noise but uh, I'm hoping that the low fineness of using the phone is um, helping to counteract that a little. What was I saying? Yeah, so I um, I never stopped watching ASMR and I'm on my personal YouTube account I'm like uh, quite the prolific commenter on a few uh, a few ASMRs in particular I'll always leave a comment for I um, say recently my favorite I think is uh, Bear Soon Young the, what are they calling it? Kitty Spa? it's um this mom and her daughter who own a ragdoll cat it's sort of similar to this video actually they just <laughs> have a uh, long running series where the cat's just getting very overpriced massages and uh, spa treatments the cat is entering miss feline world universe career whatever and um there's like a whole subplot storyline to the videos and they're so good if you can uh get past like uh listening to asmr that's not in english and it has subtitles um i hugely recommend that channel um i've also been watching a bit of asmr twix speaking about non-english which is a uh, japanese massage and spa videos and uh, I'm still as always watching our lord and saviour Maria gentle whispering videos and there's like a few others that I am you know if a video comes out I'm definitely watching it that night but I've definitely missed actually making my own I will say that um, one part of me getting sick was that um, I used to get a migraine once a year and now I have uh, chronic migraines which means that I have migraine for more than half of every month and that's actually more like maybe one or two days a month I don't have a migraine um, which is like debilitating I'm sure you know if you've had a migraine before um, and that for me just completely changed the way that I consume my ASMR videos I just I can't listen to sounds like tapping videos or anything anymore uh, ASMR artists who um, edit their audio um, and it sounds really sharp especially the mouth sounds um, I just can't I can't do it even though I used to really enjoy that actually I um physically can't listen to that anymore just I mean I guess I know that like you know we're gonna go through life and our tastes will change and what we can and can't do will change but it's a shame that there's these whole things that I um can't deal with anymore uh mouth sounds I just um find that the ones that are more talk based so 
you know, sitting around blathering, blah, blah, blah in front of a microphone or like the role plays are usually talk based. I really enjoy those, but I can't listen to the uh, inaudible, the inaudible ones either. I find it just, am I the only person who just finds it really bothersome? That you can't hear what they're saying which is the point that I can't <laughs> I just I'm just trying so hard to understand what they're trying not to let me hear them say that I can't relax but um I guess one of the good things about ASMR coming as far as it has especially um having this channel for over 10 years and for watching videos since before the concept existed is that uh, the community of people creating videos has become so large that there is just content for everybody and that's a good thing you know you don't have to like everything it's okay to just like the things that you lack i will say that um i never thought that i would enjoy the uh it's like some newer fast asmr and um i didn't think that i would enjoy that but i really do i find it really useful for when your um your tingles are gone it's just something really different that i feel like helps me get them back so it's nice i guess as for what i want to do in the future Hopefully this isn't just one video and that, uh, you know, I accidentally have something come up and then I can't record anything for another two years and I don't see you again until then. You know, ideally, I'd like to start re-recording things from today and then consistently continue and then see you again ten years in the future and look back and say, look, this time I actually did it for ten years. Um, I think I'd like to continue creating the things that I like to listen to. So I would expect that I would be making a lot more of just, um, rambling talk videos. Like, not necessarily needing to write up a script and then just read it out. Like, I'm not very good at that. I've got such a robotic speech voice it's uh something that in my university studies that comes up on all of my grades is that i um really need to work on my speech voice so i think just these um videos that are a little bit more personal and mm, off the top of my head might be at least easier for me to make i'll be interested to see if anybody enjoys listening to them. I feel like the kind of person that can just talk for ages about any topic. And I mean, we've got like years now of games that have come out to catch up on. Speaking of games, I'm currently on Final Fantasy XIV, which has been excellent time sync. I've been playing on the new Australian servers and the reason that I'm so into playing on the Australian servers is because a lot of people complain that they're um, too quiet and that they will go back and deal with the bad ping on you know US or JP servers or whatever but I'm of the opinion that you know, you can complain about it or you can do something about it. So basically every day what I do is log in and just help people do stuff on Party Finder. And it's fun, you know, just help out a bunch of different people and you get to do a bunch of different content each day. It's what people want to do generally shakes up a bit. So that's been nice. It's also, um, 
been really good with migraines and stuff to just have something that's like not very stressful to do. I'm obviously not talking about pursuing the higher end content in it, but just, you know, the regular content and like our relic weapon grinding and stuff has been um, really relaxing for me. It's given me a lot of um, ability to fill the free time that I have. Um, I've also, I uh, bought a, um, well I didn't buy it, it was gifted to me by my mum. It's a gigantic four shaft floor loom for weaving. So I guess I'm a weaver now. Um, so far I've only made a few things. I have one of them sitting next to me. My bear won't mind sitting there for a moment. So this is the first thing I made on the loom and it was supposed to be a scarf but I accidentally made it extremely wide <laughs> it's so wide I can barely show you how wide it is that's how wide it is so it really needs to be folded up and wrapped around but it's got this really like paddle pop rainbow paddle pop color vibe to it I think but um yeah it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be for my first try like it's a wearable scarf we did it for him and I did it with this um color changing acrylic I just left the tassels as they are and then the second thing I made was uh with some merino wool actually I think it's some merino cross and like merino and merino cross something but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but it, you know, either way, it's a nice and soft wool. And I made this purple. Again, it's like a color changing wool that I used for it to make a um, scarf that's a much more acceptable width this time. I think it came out really nice. I really like it. I'll try and get a more of it in the shot, but. Yeah, it worked out really well. I um, really enjoy the process of the weaving. Again, it's something that's um, nice and easy for me to do when I'm not doing very well. I um, am just setting up at the moment some, I guess it's like a turquoise or an aqua color on there at the moment to try and do. And um, yeah, the new problem for me has been that um, there are too many beautiful yarns and wools that I want to buy online and I need to try and stop myself from just ending up uh, hoarding a bunch of colours instead of actually using them all so I'm trying my best to get through the things that I've actually started making and, um, I find that it's uh, really rhythmic as well because you step on a pedal and the shaft goes up and then you pass the thing through and pull the beater down and change the fleet like it's just got such a rhythmic pattern building sort of vibe to it which has been really relaxing once you get into it i think that might be it for me for this little chat i just wanted to um pop back in i guess and um say thank you if you're listening um 10 years is a really long time to um have done something even though i haven't been doing it consistently the entire time it's nice that i can still come back and do it i'd like to continue to keep doing it again in the future i'm uh, really interested to see what will happen and what will change how the entire community will be different in another 10 years i can't even imagine the um things that some people are doing now with the uh, cinematography and things are just incredible absolutely incredible it's like um another reason that i will found it difficult to come back and in the end just ended up filming a video like this was because you just watch these absolutely like movie quality videos and think i can't do that <laughs> how am i supposed to do that 
<laughs> and again, I'm sure it's possible. And like, yeah, you learn to do it. You make mistakes and you learn by doing it. But um, yeah, I guess the um, the trick is to not get disheartened and just keep going at what you're doing. You don't have to give up just because, you know, you think that something else is like better than you or something. It'll be okay. I will just keep plodding on and I'll stay in my own lane. And I will keep trying to give back to a community that has given so much to me by um, trying to put more of the content that I want to see out into the universe. And I hope I'll see you again soon. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you if you've been here for a while. Um, the uh, comments that I've gotten while I've been gone, I do have got, I've seen them. I get the uh, email notifications for them and um, I'm really thankful to the people that have left me comments while I've been gone. Thank you so much for them. It um, really makes it feel like it's um, something worth doing, you know. Anyway, I hope you have a good sleep or a good day, wherever you are up to in your life at the moment. And I will see you next time. Bye.